Are there cons of juicing? In this video, we're gonna talk about the four things you didn't know about juicing and a lot of the challenges that come along with juicing that a lot of people don't know. I'm Dr. Isaac Jones. And I'm Erica Jones with Elevates.com. And we'll be real, we enjoy a juice every now and then, right? We've Absolutely. owned, how many juicers? Three, three. Three juicers over the course of our marriage. So we've enjoyed a little bit of juice every now and then. When we go to restaurants and stuff like that, out in California, they make some good juice when we travel out there. Absolutely. So we love that. It's refreshing. It's a great way to get some um, good raw nutrients in your body. And it's something that we, we do every now and then. Yeah. But there's some things that you probably didn't know that people don't really talk about when it comes to juicing. You've heard of all the benefits. Like, oh, dude, if you're wanting to cleanse or detox or kind of redirect yourself to eating and living a healthier lifestyle. But what people usually don't talk about is some of the cons that can come along with it. Absolutely, and that's what we wanna talk about in this video. And the first con is that there are major, major challenges. I see this with my health uh, participants, my work for patients all the time around the world uh, that we work with. And they'll come back from big events or seminars and they're like, yeah, I juiced the whole time. And you know, it, I can see in their lab reports some of the challenges that come along with juicing. And one of these big challenges is that it really trains you to be a sugar burner, not a fat mm. burner. Uh, it, it essentially trains your body's metabolism to burn sugar for energy versus fat. And one of the challenges with juice in general is if you actually read the label on a lot of the juices at Whole Foods or uh, if you were to look at some of the, the sugar content in a lot of these juices, I mean, you're actually getting a lot of apple or pineapple or mango within the juice that uh, you're getting. Yeah, there's greens in there, which is great. But in fact, there is a lot of sugar in these juices and it's, it's training your body's metabolism to burn sugar. Uh, what happens after you drink the juice is you feel amazing. You do. Woo! Did. Energy! Sugar! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you, you, you oftentimes feel good from the minerals and the en enzymes and all that, like you said, but mm -hmm. oftentimes people feel amazing because they get this sugar high, and then, of course, there's this big crash afterwards, and then the, the, their insulin typically stabilizes within the blood. Uh, but ultimately, if you're wanting to become a fat burner, uh, you want to implement some different strategies we're going to talk about later on in the video. Absolutely. And the second thing is that it promotes a false sense of weight loss that's <laughs> unsustainable. So you go on this juice cleanse, you're doing it for three, four, some people do, do it for seven days. I don't know how you do it that long, but um, you go on this juice cleanse and you drop weight, right? Unless you're not eating anything and then you gain it all right back so it's not really a sustainable way if you're someone that's looking for a lifestyle strategy to keep weight off for the long term you know I'll just tell you a funny story is when I was going through getting my doctorate one of my friends who was overweight um, she started juicing and she did this like 14 day juice <laughs> fast and she literally days. transformed her body like she lost all this weight and we we're like gosh, what are you doing? Like, this is so awesome. She's like, oh, I'm just drinking juice, you know? Yeah. And so she's like, I feel amazing, da 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 And then as soon as she started eating normal food, because she had to eventually, she right. couldn't do that for the rest of her life, literally she, 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 she skyrocketed to becoming even more heavy than she was before. So again, that comes back to point one, it's yes. training you to be a sugar burner, not a fat burner. And number three is, Ideally, you want to get 35 grams, 30 to 35 grams of fiber in your diet uh, every single day. And when you're juicing, you're actually stripping all the minerals and, and, and enzymes and, and fiber that is within the pith of the vegetable that is like superfood for your body and you're not getting that fiber. You're essentially not feeding the healthy bacteria in the gut with all those prebiotics that are with, found within the fiber. So that can be another challenge. Yeah, that's super important. The fourth thing is that it, it, it increases waste. And so it's not a super efficient way to, to live really. I mean, for us, if you're juicing at home, we've had three juicers. If you've juiced at all ever and you see how much juice you get from like one orange or something, it's like this much. And then you're throwing away so much of the, the fiber, all of the benefits and things like that. So when you're talking about juicing and how much juice it takes to actually get enough juice to drink and, and do something with your day, it's a lot of time in the kitchen. It's a lot of juicing and most juicers we've used at least are not super fun to clean and, and do all that. 
it's so. like an hour later, I got like this much juice and you know. <laughs> exactly. So, so totally. if you're someone that doesn't want to just do greens juice, and let me keep it all the way real, you will not see me drinking a juice of spinach and cucumber and just all greens. I need something in there, like apple. So I'm not I doing do that. He I can like do that. that. He can totally do that. He's like wheatgrass shots, like all of that. I can do that every now and then. But if that's not you, then we need to talk about a new, another strategy so that you're not getting those spikes in blood sugar and things like that. Yeah, and the strategy really is blending. The yes. best thing to do is you get all the benefits of juicing. Plus, when you blend all the fiber of, of like, for instance, this morning I made a, a, a bowl uh, for the kids and I put the entire kale leaf in there. I put right. the entire cucumber in there. Um, you know, you're getting all that healthy fiber and all the benefits that I was talking about uh, earlier and you're, tr you're, you're moving more towards hitting this number, which a lot of uh, Americans unfortunately do not hit and that's one of the reasons why their gut is so uh, out of whack. So again, uh, one of the benefits of, of consuming a shake is that it's more satiating. Yes. It actually uh, sends uh, messenger signals from the duodenum, which is the beginning of the small intestine, to your uh, brain to tell you that you're full. You don't get that same signaling from just juicing. In fact, oftentimes you're, you're more hungry and you're craving mm -hmm. more sugar or more food. Yes, that's very important. And just like you mentioned too, about being able to use an entire kale leaf, you're getting all of that fiber as well. Yeah. When you're using a really high quality blender, I'm not talking about like a $20 blender from Target. No, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to upgrade a little bit. <laughs> Cause if you're trying to do, you know, blending with all that fiber with a cheap crappy blender, yeah. you're just gonna get lots of chunks and nastiness in your mouth. So you've got to that invest. That is very true. You have to invest in a good blender. You do, that's really gonna pulverize the food to get that fiber. Yeah, and, and uh, we use a Vitamix, I highly recommend, you know, that Great investment. That blender. It's, a, it's an amazing investment. Um, you know, fiber we talked about, and one of the things that you don't typically do with juicing is you don't add different proteins or different superfood like fibers, greens powder, whatever, to uh, you know a juice. But you do that to a shake, right? Yes. So when you're blending it up, uh, you can actually add a bone broth protein, which you can learn more about clicking the link below uh, and, and going to our store. Uh, you know, uh, whey protein, uh, which has got a lot of different uh, benefits from grass-fed cows. Um, and Even green tea powder. That's one yeah, of the things green, that we love. Yeah, green tea powder. It's oh great for gosh. boosting energy that you can easily add to your, yeah. your smoothie. And, and it's got like 5,000% more ECGC, which is a particular uh, antioxidant, in the uh, green tea that when you consume in a shake versus just in the tea, and this comes back to the same conversation, you're just getting some of the benefits when you actually eat green tea. Uh, through green tea powder, I mean, you get all these amazing anti-aging benefits and you, of course you get the fiber as well. Absolutely. So that's just more reasons why blending is a, a, a great solution. And the final thing is that it's just more efficient. So if you don't want to be in your kitchen juicing pounds and pounds of vegetable and fruit each day, um, <laughs> definitely try blending instead. Like we've already said, it's going to satiate you for longer. So you have longer time period before going to your next, you know, blending session and it's just it's just more efficient in general and with with the Vitamix it's so easy to clean you oh. just like rinse it out you're not having to take apart the whole friggin machine and like <laughs> clean it out so it's like true. the worst like you want to make me really mad Erica yeah. go clean the juicer yeah yeah no <laughs> <laughs> one of my friends, uh, you know, owns an organic juice bar, one of Eric and I's friends, amazing juice, awesome place. But the challenge that I have with it is that she throws out all this organic natural fiber yeah. and all the nutrients of, you know, of, of uh, and she's like, yeah, I just, I don't know what, what to, do to do with, with it. it. And I just mm -hmm. end up throwing it out and I'm like, man. I'm like, somebody should figure out like something to do with it. <laughs> yeah, seriously. But um, in a nutshell, the, the great thing that you can do instead of juicing is blend up your nutrients, all the superfoods, the proteins. This is a great way to promote health and healthy living in your life. And if you're wanting to detox or do a cleanse, do it with some healthy, some healthy berries and, and different smoothies that you can make um, that are going to really improve your health for the long term. So if you want to know more information about smoothies that we make or some of our favorite superfoods and things that we like to add to our smoothie click the link associated with this video thank you so much for watching we'll Thanks be so back much. with more great videos soon bye bye